Hi, I'm Keith Merrill with the River Club project team and I have with me Eric Long, our general manager. Well, as you know, in September 28th of 2022, Hurricane Ian struck doing extensive damage to our River Club complex out here. Well, thanks to Eric and his staff and the hard work they put in uh, to get subcontractors and contractors here, here we are 152 days later with our pool up and operating. You can see the activity. We have temporary outside dining. The bocce courts are busy. The fitness center is very active and up and running. We still have some issues yet to complete in those areas. In a moment, Eric is going to give you a little update on that. Well, right after the hurricane occurred, the board of directors met, and because of the extensive damage to the River Club Bar and Grill, they made the decision to form our project team to take a look at re-imaging, rethinking, bringing up to date the River Club dining complex. So we hired a architect, a interior designer, and a general contractor to help us put this project together. And we're well on our way to being ready to present it to the board. The interior design is complete. The architect is putting final drawings together so that the uh, general contractor can finalize the costs of the project. We're anticipating within two to three weeks of presenting this project to the board and to you, the members. It's going to be one meeting. You're going to be invited so you can see what the project's all about. This project is being funded through three funds, ins the insurance fund, the uh, capital reserve fund, and the capital resale fund. One of those funds you have to vote on, that's the capital resale, to let the funds be used for this project. We think it's exciting. It's you're going to love it, and it, so watch out, watch for the announcement of when we're going to present this to you, the members, and the Board of Directors. So with that, I'll turn it over to Eric, who's going to give you some updates on what's yet to be completed. Thank you, Mr. Merrill. Uh, so I'll just touch right now, since we are outside, uh, behind us you can see that the main pool is uh, active right now. Uh, we do have uh, work to be done for the kiddie pool. Uh, we do have to resurface a portion of that pool. There were some areas that were compromised. Uh, that will take place starting next week. Uh, most likely we will not have the uh, kiddie pool open for uh, this portion of the uh, season. Most likely it will be completed by uh, the end of April. And then as far as the spa, there is some uh, items that still have to be addressed with some of the equipment uh, and some of the uh, jet valves. So that's being addressed and we probably will have that open in the next four weeks. So just touching on the pool area, we've kind of completed that. Uh, we do have some of the new uh, covered area structures coming in on Friday, uh, the Tucci umbrellas. Uh, we'll start slowly uh, installing those on, onto the property. Uh, the sports courts uh, way in the back there, uh, that will be our first task to uh, add the, uh, the shaded area for there. Uh, we have ordered the kiddie playground. Again, this will not be installed uh, for this part of the season. Obviously, we'll have it ready uh, probably by the summertime. And then, obviously, the bocce courts, we do need to have the uh, shaded structures and working with the committee on some of the items like the fountain uh, enclosures uh, that we're working on right now. Uh, I want to touch base. Uh, let's go over to the uh, fitness center and kind of touch base on what needs to be done there. So we're just inside the fitness center. Uh, obviously, the couple other action items that are still need to be addressed. We have the uh, elevator. I just got a report today that they have more parts, but not all the parts needed to complete this job. So we're probably still at least a six weeks out before having this uh, operational. As far as the gym itself, we have more equipment coming in next week. Uh, the Bravos and other things of that nature. Um, now we do have sound on all the cardio equipment, so that is going to be a great addition. And then as far as any other items we have, uh, to address in here, it's really just uh, some cosmetic things on the flooring, but all in all, it's looking great and it's being uh, highly used at this point in time. So we're located at the boat launch area. We're located uh, where the member dock still needs to be completed. Uh, there was some items that needed to be addressed with the new member dock. Uh, that has been resolved and we're working through that as we speak. Uh, this will start uh, this weekend uh, with the replacement of the dock. 
So we hope to have most of the dock completed by uh, this weekend starting on Saturday. Uh, there'll be some fine tuning that needs to be adjusted, but uh, hopefully we'll have everything up and running uh, by the following week. So still getting some questions about the boat shuttle. Uh, as we have talked with our vendor, uh, still having issues with finding a place to store the boat. And also uh, Lover's Key has not given us permission to be able to launch there at this time. So we're working through that right now, but it doesn't look like uh, this part of the season we'll be able to have the boat shuttle. But uh, stay tuned for more as we hear more information. On other matters, the Hammock Green Spa, the uh, inspections happened yesterday, just fine tuning a few things, but for all intents and purposes, you are, are able to utilize the spa area now. And uh, it's a long way coming, but it's great to be able to utilize that new amenity in the Hammock Greens area. So just touching on our insurance, uh, we're still working with our insurance adjuster on finalizing the total cost associated with the devastation from the hurricane uh, on the wind policy, our business interruption, and then on our flood policy. We are making some headways on our flood policy with regards to the fitness center. Um, the adjuster has almost had everything completed and ready for submittal and then uh, they're working on the river club and coming up with the final estimates for that property. So uh, we're making some headways, but at the end of the day, like I said in my last GM update, uh, we will have a hurricane insurance assessment. Uh, we most likely will not have the final numbers until the end of summer. So stay tuned for more and we'll communicate as things come along. Thank you very much, Pelican Sound.